My name is Tim Vey. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock your graphics card. I would discourage this if you have a reference cooler. It doesn't matter if it's GeForce or Radeon. Regardless, they suck. Or if you have a mobile chip, which would be in your laptops. Now, the program you're going to want to get is MSI Afterburner. should be in the description to download. Uh, I'll be using GPU-Z just to confirm that we got everything correct. Now, after you download and install it, just open it up. And you'll have the program here running. Personally, I only mess with the core clock. You can overclock the memory. I personally do not, as I have not seen results with this. You can also increase your power limit up here. This will allow you to get higher results if possible. Now, I also want to warn you about thermals. Increasing the power limit, of course, more power, more heat. Now, to simply overclock, first thing you want to do is click this button to where it will activate the overclock on startup. Just want to click on this. And then you get your arrow keys, or you could personally just drag it over to your desired clock speed. I personally go for 1.1 gigahertz or 1100 megahertz on the core clock. And just for this demonstration, I will increase the memory clock to 1300 or 1 1.3 gigahertz. All right, just hit the check. X that out. Let's pull up GPU-Z just to see everything. And here we are. We have the defaults clocks here, and then we have our new clocks. Alright guys, I hope you, this helps you get a few extra FPS on your favorite games. And remember, do not do this on mobile chips. Those are set and designed to run at specific heats. So, again, I warn you, definitely do not do it on a mobile chip. Thank you for watching.